Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten 774 here bringing you the next video in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew's Secret of the Old Clock. We just got a golden golf ball that we are supposed to use on Josiah's golf course. So we better head on over to the golf course. Do I still have a golf club? No, I do not. Uh, I better get one. Or do I have to even get one? Can I just go through? Oh, I don't even have to do that. Okay, so put the golden golf ball down and hit it into the hole of Tiny Town. Cool. Cool. Aha, what's this? Another safe deposit box key? Oh, okay. I guess he had a second safe deposit box? I guess we'll go see. Emily, please, just sit down. It's all right. It's not all right. That's right. Something's wrong with you. Ooh. You've got to go talk to Emily. She's in a bad way. What do you mean? What's happened? Please, go talk to her. She won't listen to me. I'm no help at all. I guess I'll talk to her. What's wrong? Just go back to River Heights, Nancy. Why? What's the matter? I took a nap after I got back from running errands, and when I woke up, this was in my hand. It's one of the necklaces that I thought had been stolen. I have no idea how it got there. I must do things and not remember. All this responsibility on top of losing mom. I can't cope with it. I'm having a, what Jane call it, a nervous breakdown. Emily, just listen to me. I don't want to talk anymore. Go home. You're just making things worse. No, not on your life. I'm too close to solving this mystery. Hmm, let's talk to Jane. Did you talk to her? Do you see what I mean? No wonder I never saw or heard anything. It was all in her mind. I'm not so sure, Miss Willoughby. What's more, I think I've found something that'll solve all her problems. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. We're gonna go find the second will, I hope. Nancy's pretty positive. Such a pretty drive. Okay. Let's head to the bank. Hello, Mr. Archer. I love how he peeks over the newspaper. I'm glad you stopped by. I need to clear the air about something. I lied before, not just when I said the bank was doing fine when it's really not, but when I said that wasn't my car you saw parked outside the inn today. I parked it there because I didn't want anyone to know that I was at Richard Topham's begging him for money. This bank is in truly dire financial straits, and if anyone finds out... Mr. Archer, I already knew you were at Richard Topham's today. I saw your name in his calendar. Oh. So what can I do for you? I found another safe deposit box key that belonged to Josiah. Impossible. Josiah only had one box, and you've already opened it. Can you tell me whose key this is? It is one of ours. Where did you get it? I won it playing golf at Josiah's with a special ball. I had to ace one of the holes. Why does that sound familiar? I know why. That's what Clara always called me, her ace in the hole. That's who this key belongs to, Clara Pickford. What do we got? What do we so, got? So, Clara Pickford was really Josiah Crowley in disguise. Apparently, he loved playing tricks like that on people and hiding things right under their noses. Hmm. The Last Will and Testament of Josiah M. Crowley. Nice. I wonder what this is. Gloria Dowd, now Crandall, and Jane Willoughby, circa 1912. Jane Willoughby? That doesn't look the least bit like Jane Willoughby. No, it certainly doesn't. I'd better get back to the Lilac Inn and have a talk with her right now. Move out of 
of the way, would you please? I'm kind of in a hurry. You're not going anywhere until you tell me who you really are. What are you talking about? I just saw a picture of Jane Willoughby. The real Jane Willoughby. It's been swell knowing you, sister. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't let Jane out of my sight. We have to go on a car chase. Oh. Yeah, and you basically can't let Jane get out of your view on the map. Which is easier said than done in some cases. For the state line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and hit her off. Yeah, the way you do that is to get up here. Ha ha ha! You have to go up when she Nancy talks about the state line. Uh oh. Oh! Why couldn't you just mind your own business? You got her. Dear Ned. I know you'll be home from school in a couple of days, but I couldn't wait to tell you. I just solved a mystery. I figured out that Emily Crandall's guardian was really an imposter named Marion, who intercepted the letter Emily wrote to Jane Willoughby after her mom died. She pretended to be Jane not only so she could steal Emily's valuables, but so she could convince Emily that she was incapable of running Lilac in, and that she should sell it and split the money with her. On top of all that, I found Josiah Crowley's real will. In it, he left Emily so much money that she'll be able to hire all the people she needs to keep the inn going. He left Jim Archer a ton of money, too, which means he won't have to close his bank. And from now on, he'll be able to buy his wife a new dress anytime he wants. As for Richard Topham, Josiah left him nothing. Although Topham still refuses to admit that he forged the first will and insists that he's going to contest the will I found, Dad says it's highly doubtful he'll succeed and that he'd be better off sticking to spoon tricks. Anyway, when you get home, I'll give you all the details over a nice big piece of slightly damaged cherry pie. Wait till you hear that part of the story. As always, Nancy. <laughs> all right, hey, sassy detective. Congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of Puzzle Pro for solving puzzles at lightning speed. So you get a different award depending on how you play the games each time. And that just happened to be the one that I got this time. So let's see the trailer for the next game. Great news, I think. See, Frank and Joe Hardy have invited me to help them solve a mystery. Only this mystery takes place on a train. But not just any train. A train that was found abandoned years ago in the middle of nowhere. All of its passengers have simply vanished. Some people say the train is jinxed. Others say it's haunted. I mean, it'll be fun to finally get to work alongside the Hardy Boys, but I just hope the trip we're going on doesn't turn out to be, you know, one way. Frank and Joe Hardy and guests are invited to join Miss Lori Gerard for a journey aboard Hurley's Comet. Last train to Blue Moon Canyon. Ooh, ooh. Interesting. So that is the next mystery in the series. Uh, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon is pretty cool. It's the first mystery where we see the Hardy Boys in person. And man, do they look good. They did a really nice job. But thank you so much for watching the walkthrough for this game, fellow detectives. I hope to have my review for this game posted pretty soon as well. And then I'll get started on the walkthrough for the next game, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Super excited to share that one with you guys as well. Thanks again so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.